Hello. 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 Is anybody out there? Out there. <laughs> out there. <laughs> Nobody here but us chickens, Dawn. So Don has been very interested in this game, but neither of us really know what it is. We don't know a thing about it. We don't know a thing about it. It's Signal Simulator. I guess we work as like, we're like SETI. Yes. People. That's what got my interest. And when I was a long time ago, I took a field trip when I was, I think, in middle school to one of those SETI sites, you know, the giant arrays or whatever. Yeah. And, uh,. Ever since then, I had a dream of being locked alone in a room in the middle of the desert listening to beeps. <laughs> whatever you do. <laughs> Looking at waveforms and whatever. Well, you're in luck, Don. Also, oh, the good. Steam music is so good. Yeah, take it in for a second. This is nice. Listen to this. Very epic. We'll see what the game is like. <laughs> I'm expecting it to be extremely boring. We're going in completely blind, which I think is a good thing, Ian, because how many times have you heard of it? Someone just buys a, you know, a telescope at a Kmart and then discovers, right? That happens right, all the time. Right, the yeah. less the le the less you know on this kind of thing, the better probably. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is cool. This is already way, uh... Well, yeah, you can walk around. I didn't... Yeah, this is way more uh, cool than I expected. There's a oh, wow. Okay, so there's a good chance we're going to discover something then. Look at all these posters of pro oh, paraphernalia. Yeah. Oh, we're for sure finding the aliens. All right. For a second. Thanks, Jesse. All right, status. Uh... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is what I was a little worried about. Alright, everything's but, uh, good. Everything's Yeah, we'll work our everything's green. I think that's a good that's a good sign. I don't see any of these uh indicators flashing red. Basic stuff here. It already sounds cool inside of this, uh... Yeah. Okay. We got a... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're scanning. Oh, okay. left, left mouse button to scan. What, I just point it, and then it scans? Okay, yes, yeah, so see on the bottom right? That's oh. gotta be something. This is what I remember from when I was a kid. This kind of stuff. I don't know what we're looking for, but on that bottom right there, that's... Oh, it says anomaly detected, and it gave me some arrows. Okay. That seems like a thing. Oh my god, Don, we're doing it. This Don, is... are you getting either next-gen console? I am uh, standing at the threshold of next-gen as we speak, as you know. Hmm. I'm going to be fully stocked on next-gen. I'm getting uh, the Falconeer on the Xbox, which I, you know, Series X, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know a lot about that game, but... Uh, and I'm gonna get probably Assassin's Creed on the old PS5. What do you think about that? Are those good choices? I mean, all I care about is Demon Souls. Demon Souls, I know. I was gonna go, I don't know if I'm gonna go down that path right now. I may not have the time. Maybe we wait for the holidays. Bug snacks. Oh, did the Falconeer review poorly? Uh-oh. Falconeer will be awesome. Well, we got both ends of the spectrum here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've found a signal, but where do I say... Where do I say yes, please, to that signal? This is what I was curious about. Talking here has a 72? Oh no. I'm getting depressed about next gen already. Let's 
Signal strength. We got a... We got a signal, but what do I do with it? There was no tutorial of any kind. Oh, there was no tutorial available either? We thought we'd go in blind, but... Alright. All signals. Signal detected. But I did find a signal. Oh man, so Falconeer isn't good. Everyone, it's only 16th. Dang it. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I shouldn't get it. Connection established. Signal detected. What does that mean, though? I didn't expect to get a signal so quickly. I thought it would take hours. <laughs> Good games can get bad scores. That's for, that's for sure true. I may love it. You know what? Probably a seven. I, you're right. I think I'm gonna love it. Don't think I heard it. Coordinates. Oh, okay. So here we go. We're getting a signal at 79.31 or 80.32. Oh, I love the sound of that, sound of that little wheel. Yeah. Zzz. Good night, Jesse. All right, so we have to change our... Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Coordinate detection. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Coordinate detection control. So do I have to make this match? But this is already what it's at. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let's see. System efficiency, rate and charge efficiency. Elevation speed. Signal strength. Oh, so maybe we have to move it to 79. Okay, I see. Seventy nine point nine seven. Wait, which are you seeing the seventy nine the efficiency? No, that's at seventy seven now. This coordinates is here in our okay. new coordinates. Oh, and elevation, elevation is on the other 32 little thirty two point thirty two on, on that kisser. That other gadget, yeah. Where was it? Track coordinates. Well, I made them be there and it's not. awesome yeah, oh this is 
I wonder why we'd need this. It's like out in the desert by our place. Yeah. I, oh, because I bet, yeah, we get to, uh, you know, move the uh, arrangement of the satellite. So this just says signal detected now, and we can't. But here it says no signals detected. No selected signal. All signals. Random signals, story signals. You'd clicked on all those different types of signals on that last one? Yeah. <laughs> Riveting. Alright, let's see. Google it or something, Don. I don't know. This is great. <laughs> You want me to look it up? I thought you were on a good path. Hold on. Signal available. Uh oh, this is a very complicated game. <laughs> <laughs> which currently act lacks an in-depth guide. Uh, okay. Let me see here. I disabled the signal. Okay, each signal will have a unique and randomized frequency. We can only... All right, well, I turned off the signal. Okay, so when we pick up a signal again, um, you've got to increase or decre decrease the current frequency with the manual mode dial. Okay. Uh, and that's on that big silver unit. Yeah. With, I believe that thing, yeah, that you're turning that I like the sound of it. So that thing... Um, or by pressing the button labeled tracking, which does your job for you if you have electronics. Oh, if we've up upgraded, I guess, huh? Ooh, let's end this. So this part. So you increase it and decrease the frequency until the light labeled coordinates detective turn, uh, detected turns green. So that's, I guess, what we'll want to do on that silver unit right there. Oh, is it green already? Where? Oh, no. Signal available. Uh, oh, to the coordinates detected. Oh. Uh, on the... Oh, wait. Yeah, the why doesn't... So I, I need to... See move this right manual mode yeah you move it between what a thousand and nine and ten thousand yeah megahertz okay so yeah that's the right wheel yeah but where is the light labeled coordinates detected uh... there's a right of the mim Okay, miscellan miscellaneous information monitor is the green one with the satellite. So that's the MIM. And to the right of that, okay, is the device that's providing the azimuth and e elevation needed to start downloading your signal. Uh, this is really complicated, but it's actually kind of fun, too. This is, I, 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 this is one of the most awesome things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Actually, I'm having an extreme amount of fun right now, even though we don't know what's going on. Just listening to this is great. Well, the accuracy does eventually. Oh, man. So we're going to have to be upgrading our system? This I don't like. So you try to do the to math yourself. Uh, so far, I'd say this and synths are complicated in different ways. Joe Town, 56 months. 
It wasn't even real cream cheese. It was light cream cheese, Dana Scully. When did she say that? All right, Donald. Well, I've made a full sweep here, and I haven't. Uh, hold on, I'm reading about the elevation. Uh, uh. Start rotation button. Well, first, uh, so that signal available. Start rotation well, is on. Oh, it is? Yeah. Let me check if I can upgrade our, what is it, the tracking? <laughs> this is excellent. Coordinates, coordinate detection upgrade. We have zero credits, cost 30. <laughs> tracking, oh, no. cost 30. How do we get credits? <laughs> is this why people gave up satellite TV? Pretty much. Uh. Let's All right. see. All right, doing more research, going back to this guide. I could tell how this would be really cool if we just figure out how to... What video? Link to a movie. Wait, does this mean you could play movies in this game? Oh, well, who knows? We might get some of those old TV signals, you know, from the 50s that are looping through the universe or whatever. Yeah. Might pick some of those up, and we might want to watch old Lucy episodes and all that, you know? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... The screen on our far left... ...will only activate when you have found the correct coordinates for the signal. So is that okay. is that thing? Oh, that's it is no, activated no, though. This is, it's oh, no, it's nothing. And this one says no data. We have to lock in the frequency. That seems like the thing. And then we have to get this pointed in the right spot. Uh, your signal will slowly but surely be downloaded to the database here, and once completed, the signal will be turned to binary and decoded. This doesn't tell me. Usually you'll only get a random array of numbers and letters, but sometimes you may get something unique. See, this is what I heard about. Whoa, I can I can put more power into certain things? Route, reroute the power. Let's not mess with that right now. Man, there's a lot to this. I'm wondering, I'm looking around, Don, for a VHS to see if there's, like, a video that would walk us through, you know? Yeah, I don't think it will. It says there's no guide. Oh. Um. Server rack? I hacked into it. Oh, nice. Find aliens. <laughs> Oh, God. Hold on. All right. Let's go through this line by line here. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, no, I was only on to... All right. Um. We got to look for a VHS. Oh, my God. We can go outside. <laughs> yeah, maybe just walk around. Maybe we need to get a little fresh air. I'm going to clear our head. Let Let's let's remember why we're doing this. Yeah, look at those stars, huh? This is why we got into this business. This is why we uh, got into this. This is really actually what I wanted to walk around out here in the desert by these satellites. Look at how cool this is. This it's is nice out this here. This is actually really cool. I wonder if we have a little jeep or something. We do. We have the rover there. We have this. Uh oh. Looks like a Tesla truck. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Sweet. With bullet holes in it. That is uh, the cyber truck, isn't it? There's no jump button, but it's so <laughs> tantalizing to go up there. Let the aliens find you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Look at those mountains, gosh. Yeah, it must this... be in Arizona or somewhere. Where is this? This is a neat area. Yeah, I definitely didn't get to expect that we'd be able to walk around like this. Oh, nice. 
Here we go. The old fashioned way. Where are you? I bet you will see something. Oh, this is a pretty good telescope, actually. Look at that. I have a pretty good telescope in my living room. You do? You can't use it in the city. It's worthless, but... Yeah, I bought it for my dad a long time ago. What about the moon, though? You can look at the moon, I guess, sometimes, can't you? I haven't tried. I think you need a uh, an attachment. I tried to take it out. Sophia and I went to look at that comet, um, but the batteries weren't working on the telescope so i couldn't because it'll do like an auto tracking thing and without that it's like basically impossible to follow stuff so well we've got the tub full we're taking we a bath right now this i did not expect <laughs> so just about all the amenities all right back to it this is cool, though, that you, like... <laughs> Freshen up. All right. System efficiency has dropped. Oh, because we're using solar power, I guess. So we're running out of juice here. What am I doing wrong here? Well, the problem is we haven't located the signal to detect... Oh, damn it, I disabled yet. it again. Well, time to find a new signal. <laughs> All right, let me look at this. This part I understand. So wait, 720 by 634, is that the signal? Hey, Banfitter. Oh, I wonder if low and high is a clue at where the signal is. So that's like 4,000-ish. Yeah, I think you're on something. Alright, this seems to be the de facto guide here. It doesn't give us a lot of information though. We do need to play some lo-fi hip-hop. System efficiency can be increased by keeping your charge rate in the positives while your charge rate efficiency can be increased by cleaning oh cleaning your solar panels okay so that's that might be one of the things we have to do out there we need to yeah. find a signal <laughs> patience patience we'll find the signal the antenna and you the database, the terminal. Every signal you've successfully downloaded. Have we downloaded a signal yet? No, right? I don't know what invert antenna detection control. We have not successfully downloaded a signal. can turn those that audio down but I kind of like it huh oh good that one's still there oh you have a radio it won't let me do anything with it I think it's a Geiger counter <laughs> there there's a radio that plays podcasts NASA recordings and much more 
Really? It's uh to the right. It's actual radio to the right on top of the counter on top. Uh, where is it? To the right more maybe? Oh, to the left. Oh, there it is. There it is to the left. Whoops, I had the wrong. You think this will be? This can't be helpful. This is just a diversion. Yeah. In addition to the people we have here, we are trying something new today. This is our first nationwide. Oh, flashlight. There's a flashlight right next to the radio. Lies. Yeah, I don't see it in the picture, but it says there is one. If you haven't found it yet. Huh. Oh, you can drink the coffee. Whoa. Oh, wait. Never mind, it's an optional means of changing the in-game time. Wait, really? When your mug is empty, you may refill it with the coffee machine located in the kitchen. Okay, the weather screen located up and to the right of the system information monitor. Okay, so this oh. is when we know is a good time to clean up our solar it. panels. We got it. We got it. Wunderbar. Frequency locked. Beautiful. Okay. All right, so we need so... to download it. Uh Oh, it's moving. So I have to okay. move it to. So I have to move it. Looks like the azimuth is like 100 and something. Even combined with signal audio. So, so on the left is that screen activated? Uh, will only activate when you found the correct coordinates for the signal. Yeah, so that one screen on the left will activate when we found the correct coordinates. Tracking is not available. Azimuth calculation minimum. So wait, am I trying to get this to line up to that? Whoops. How you actually get it to start downloading, though? How do you how do you tell it to start I, I, downloading? I think we have to get this to center closer to that dot. The average is one eighteen. Elevation average 64. Sixty-seven. 
All right, the elevation is still climbing. It's real slow. Look how slow that is. We're trying to get to 64. We're trying to get to 64 and it's at 39. Is there a way to can we boost more power to the to the dish? Antennas. Did that make it go faster? It might have. Where did it say we can boost it? Oh, I did it. Dr. Leo Marvin, 26 months. Thank you. It'll start downloading automatically when we found the cor correct coordinates. We're almost to the average. Oh, it keeps changing. Back up. Signal information monitor. Uh, wait, uh, have we looked at this? It's a star planet object of signal origin and signal type. What type of signal is this? Does it say? because we haven't locked on to it yet. Try the tracking button. Uh, tracking is not available. Uh. Track coordinates right here. It's not available. Hmm. No matter what I did, this thing is always like too low. Elevation average went down? No. What's our efficiency at right now, does it say? System efficiency 84%. Okay. Charge 90, uh, 68. That seems high enough still. Azimuth bar is partially green and the elevation is totally red. What does that mean? Oh, maybe you have to change the elevation. Hold on. Where was that? Well, I've been doing that too. Oh, and it didn't change that bar at all? the shit. I've got the elevation and the azimuth at around the, the averages, but it hasn't locked on. Maybe this azimuth is too low? Let's 
seeing anything else in here of, what, of anything else we could be doing. I just don't want to push the signal disable button because that makes it go away. I can't look far enough to look at the phone or these documents. You look at the top secret documents? That's weird. A majority... Okay, so a majority of detected signals are random and have no significance. Oh, wait. And will be put here once fully... But yeah, so it still should download all the signals, though. The download database, huh. There's no, we have no signals. We have earned no credits. That doesn't seem fair. Docs. Well, we could always go out and clean the uh, solar panels. <laughs> I don't think we need to do that on day one. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Bionic project? Try to unlock a random module. Where's that? All right. Once the system is activated. It will give you coordinates with range based on the coordinate detection system. You can switch between both layers using coordinate detection control. Tip finding signal coordinates. Example, azimuth min plus coordinate detection equals possible signal azimuth. azimuth. From that point, start lowering the current position or wait until a new lower azimuth is detected. You can max you can use max values or average in time, you will find your own strategy to detect the signal. So we just have to, it's just hard, I think. Yeah, it says you need to fine tune your coordinates to pick it up. So be sure to use your signal strength device to hunt down the exact coordinates. Signal strength device. That's this? Oh, it's raining now. Signal strength, yeah. This device gives you information if you're close to the signal or not. If you're close to the signal, you will get an indication. The device will indicate update in real time in easy mode. In normal and hard mode, the detector will update once the antenna stops moving. Oh boy. Maybe we should have played in easy mode. All right. So we had it before, but now it's not there anymore. So I don't... Th yeah, so we shouldn't be having the it rotating right now, right? It I wasn't. think we shouldn't... I'm going to lower oh, okay. it a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we should start rotating it until we know the exact coordinates. Well, you can't find the coordinates without rotating it. That's the problem. Oh, you can't? You have to, you have to try to hone in on it by rotating. Oh, our elevation is almost exact, so that's good. Okay. Um, so that. So oh yeah, look at that. Six-ish. 
Okay, and then... Should we try up or down? I think we were lower before on the azimuth. Alright, alright. Here we go. feeling about this one. Ooh, okay. That's closer. Azimuth is okay. closer. Ready, that ready. It's it. Ready, ready? Yeah, it said ready, ready on that. Where? Right there on the on that green screen, the status status just went both of them just went to ready on elevation. Oh, I can't read it. What I is think it? It's Azimuth. It stopped, it stopped moving. Oh. Oh. What? Did what we happened? lose Did we lose it? We lost it. Oh no. We lost the damn signal. All right, we took too long. Ah. All right. But now we know what we're doing. Yeah, I I feel like Partially. we almost had that one actually. I we were getting we close did. on that one. I think we almost had it. Feels like we we're close on that one. Not bad. Hey, it's our first thing. That's like our second signal we found. Yeah. For a second, that static meant I had to like wait, but stop. Yeah, it's just interference, I guess. Oh, we got it. There we go. All right, this one sounds a lot clearer. Ever oh, god, so we have to go all uh -oh. the way to 300. So long ways. Ah, I got a good feeling about this. Take a minute. This is gonna take a minute, gang. Oh, it looks like a weather system's coming up from the south to the Gulf too. Hopefully, it doesn't yeah. cause us any problems. I'm gonna try to have it unlock wow, so a free it, module. It is raining right now, and that looked like we're on the very edge of the storm. So this is probably gonna be a pretty big storm, actually. Because it looks yeah. like we're just on the front, the front edge right now, and we're already getting rain. <coughs> if you see Bionic Project in here, let me know. Oh, Bionic Start. Boink, boink Start. Server works on full capacity, rewriting power. Alright, so we've got a bionic project going. Or a boink project. Boink project? It's trying to unlock us a free module. Welcome to my cylinder of leaves. Probably true. Oh yeah, what happened with the porch chicken, Don? Uh, the porch chicken? What, what do you mean? Remember last time you had chicken? You found chicken on the porch? Yeah. Why is the azimuth going down?
The azimuth is decreasing, but I want it to be going up. Or is it going ar It's moving. Oh, it's probably going that, that way. Okay. It's probably faster. You don't remember the porch chicken, Don? Yeah, I remember it. They're asking for the conclusion to the story. I don't want to say. <laughs> you don't want to say? Yeah. What happened? It, turned into, it kind of turned into a bigger deal than I expected. I don't really want to go down that hole right now. I'm in too Wait, good a mood. Are you serious? I'm in, I'm in too good a mood tonight to relive the porch chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, this is going. I'm going to quick research break okay cool tell, tell him something tell him something all right what are we looking at here the poor chick no the raccoons didn't get it but you know what I told you about the uh, building, right, next door that I thought was abandoned. Uh, someone's living in there, apparently, but the animals, I told you about the, uh, I think I told you about the raccoons that uh, and possums and everything that took it over, but uh, today I opened my kitchen window. There's a wall outside, you know, a dividing wall to the next apartment, and there's a giant opossum sitting on the wall. Uh, with absolutely no fear no fear just like a tame house cat just looking straight at me and I was kind of itching its back and licking itself just like a house cat I actually didn't realize how much opossums usually when I've come across them It's been at night usually with my car or something the headlights will turn on them and they just hiss They're always hissing but this one was not hissing. It was the friendliest one of the friendliest creatures I'd ever seen So friendly in fact it almost was making me feel like I should go out there and see if it'll let me pet it, but because you know there are animals you wouldn't think are friendly, like groundhogs, uh, which are actually quite friendly when you domesticate them. I was once I went to a pet store, and they had an open bin right when you walked in, the same way they do with puppies or kittens, an open bin filled with groundhogs, and you could pet them, and they were laying on their back. They're the cutest creatures. I couldn't believe how cute they were, and so opossums, I have a feeling, are the same way. If you'd actually, you know, they'd get a little bit of human contact. And this one was looking incredibly friendly. Whoops, I didn't realize you are back. That was freaky for a second. I, I saw the thing move. I've just been listening to your story. Yeah, so what do you know about that? They can be friendly, opossums? Opossums? I'm not even sure if they're called possums or opossums. Are they different? I think they're opossums. Oh, possum is an incorrect nickname? I believe it's opossum. What a psychotic name for an animal. Opossum? It's the craziest thing in the world, but this one was friendly. Oh, it's the craziest thing. Yeah. And it might have been because of that porch chicken. I don't know. Yeah, but I just sort of fed it to him so all uh, that whole week. And uh, what can I say? So basically, you've domesticated the entire neighborhood's possum, opossum yeah, it's, community. It was like four uh, styrofoam containers full of chicken, and the great thing was, I thought it was bar, I thought it was uh, spicy, you know, chick, uh, but it turned out to be barbecue. I think it, it was barbecue or something. So they seemed to like it. Oh, but so did you eat any of it? No, I didn't eat it. But I didn't let the raccoons eat it. I gave it to the opossums, and so, so the raccoons couldn't eat it. Okay. Alright, it's a moment of truth. If it flips over to the 300s, we know we're in business. Okay, good. That's great. So we're on track. How long did we have last time that we ran out? Ran oh, out what is... Time? On that signal? This is interesting. This part of the game right here, this uh this crazy board. Yeah, this board makes me feel like we're really going to like it's going to be something more exciting than just Well, this one has signal coordinates written down. Oh, here we go. 3538. 
why don't we do this? 36.5 to 37? Huh. Well, once we're... In, we'll see if we scrub out on this one. Oh, here's a map. I, I, I did take sides in a turf war. Well, the raccoons are cruising through here like five deep, man, at 5 a.m. I've looked outside my window, and there literally was a pack of five raccoons just w walking through the front yard. So I figure, you know what? Possums want to eat chicken, too. <laughs> all right, we're almost there. This is awesome. Can you imagine? We've been tracking the signal all night. It's already daytime. Yeah. Eight in the morning. What a job this is. All right. Ooh, our azimuth is good. Our, our elevation is not good. So let's go lower, I guess. What is that noise? Are there two suns? Two suns? Oh no, that's oh, a no. reflection Oof. of an inside light. Whew. That was freaky for a second. I hear some kind of like engine outside. You hear that? Maybe someone's approaching. I do hear it. Yeah, maybe it's the air conditioning unit. The hell is that? A helicopter? Oh wait, is that a helicopter in the distance? No. It does sound that? like a helicopter. It does, and it's getting louder, isn't it? That's definitely a helicopter. Press F11. Why? What the shit? What's happening? It's landing. I don't know. There's a helicopter landing outside. Let's go see. Maybe it's our boss. They're coming to see what progress we've made. <laughs> it's actually getting pretty loud. Oh. I think they were just flying they passed, overhead. They passed over. Yeah, that was freaky. The track coordinates button was on. <laughs> this land peaceful, it's a possum's kind. They're gone now. I wonder who it was. There's still that, that is something weird ass thing. What is that? Way off in the distance? Yeah, I was going to say, it looks bigger. I saw it before, and for a second I thought it was just... What is that? It's an oh, okay. alien. What is that? With a face on it. Wait, for real, what is that? I don't know. Is it have a face on it? Yeah, there's like a face to the right of the middle. Mm. That's as far in as I can zoom. Is this like an Easter egg? This is weird. Is there experimental... Uh, maybe we should drive over there. I, don't, I guess... Well, we can't abandon this signal. We're almost on it. Okay. A weather balloon? I guess it was a weather balloon. What you experienced was some swamp gas reflecting off <laughs> Venus. <laughs> that face was someone. It looked like someone famous. It looked like, um... Or, or was it, it looked like Ron Peter Sterling? Bishop. It looked kind of like Ron Sterling. I thought it was Peter Bishop from Fringe. I thought it was Ron Sterling from Fringe. From Fringe? <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I forgot about that. You know, that ship actually looked like the ship in the fringe marketing stuff. Remember those billboards when they're all looking or when it was like above them or whatever it was? I don't remember that. All right, here we go. Is the elevation going to be right? No. 
Where the hell? What is what is the elevation of this damn thing? Oh, wait, the max is six seventy eight, so we're way up at the max now. What's the minimum? Forty six. We already tried 50, but we can try it again, I guess. Oh, shut. Oh, here we go. Red Sky is sharing a calculator. Someone shared. To calculate the coordinates? Signal simulator coordinates calculator. This is awesome. All right, minimum azimuth. You you enter the minimum and maximum azimuth. All right. Well, our Wait, minimum what? is three oh seven point one six three three. Oh, it changed. Okay. Whoop. Three oh five point seven. How specific do we have to be? Three oh five point seven. I'll start there. What's max? Does it give us a max? Three fifty six point two nine. Okay, so this is saying ele azimuth then, 330. Okay, go ahead, elevation. The elevation is 44.1, and the max is 87.8. So this is giving us an azimuth of 330.9950. And an elevation of 65 feet. 330, uh, 9950. And then 65.95. We have to get that specific? <laughs> this, is what the, this is the number the calculator spit out. Oh, wait, go back to the elevation. What was it? 65. Oh, no. It's, oh, wow. So it has to be really specific. It's 00. 9500. 65.9500. That's as specific as I think I can get. Oh, okay, okay. I was just making sure. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's now. No, go look at that screen all the way on the left there. What is it saying now? A nothing, huh? Nothing. We haven't, we've never locked onto a signal before. <laughs> <laughs> Is it moving? Yes, okay. It's going real slow. Our charge efficiency is pretty low. After this one, we Get should try to go clean the... Yeah, I panels. think it, I think it was just averaging them. What is, uh... The, our charge efficiency what was it at 59 percent yeah it, it is just averaging them you guys are right um 59 yeah it's getting a little low all right so i guess if it's is it just not doing average because th this machine does the averages for me. yeah that's that's basically what they're saying yeah automatic it's already that calculator i don't think is a big help damn it here i was thinking we we're like just gonna find it right now yeah. Because I think I had it closer before. Well, we won't know until we lock it in. Oh, here okay. We here we go. This is, Here's another tutorial. I didn't see this. Uh, you've seen the... Oh, wait. When you capture a signal and your coordinate system starts Fuck, generating... Fuck, we lost it. Right, right, the <laughs> lowest azimuth, the highest azimuth. Okay, so you keep watching the monitor until you reach a point at which you hardly get any values lower than your lowest or higher than your highest. Okay, so you're keeping track of what your lowest and highest is as it changes, and you wait until it never goes beyond that, basically. Then, oh, we, okay. input, then, then we input those numbers. That's how this calculator is supposed to work. Uh... If you've done everything correctly, you should receive an output below with values which should be completely accurate. But it should be somewhere in the range of 0.1 to 0.2. We've turned on the cleaning system. 
Yeah, oh, whoa, man. it went way up. Okay. <laughs> What's that there? Uh, oh, Siri, uh, Forever Ender is saying uh, Series X are in stock. Wow. Uh, ben Fitter said he's uh, only uh, go for signals within 100 degrees of your current setting because otherwise it'll take too long. Interesting. That's yeah, so that, yeah, and that's, that's one thing the guide said is the vast majority of signals are going to be just random. So that's one of the things we want to do is, yeah, try to determine early on if it's a signal worth us, you know. Worth going trying. for. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the things the guide said. So it said a veteran will be able to just look at that first screen and using the audio, but it doesn't say how. Nothing like a game that builds in the ability to watch and listen to other things. Like, this game is cozy as hell. I really like it. But that's really funny about that, about it to me. <laughs> Night, Uzi. Good night. It's my goal right now is to get one. <laughs> <laughs> one this whole stream. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's pretty close. Average is three forty-seven. This is slowing down our stuff, too. Here we go. What, what's this third thing? Do we need this other thing? Oh, yeah, we need all those. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see, baby. Give us that signal. something in that folder and then it'll wait what was the directory d films signal sim whoops It's just an example directory. Yeah, it's actual videos from your hard drive. So let me see. What's a video that we could play? Whoops, it's crashing now. <laughs> Whoa! No! No, it's okay. Everything's good, it just like reset my windows a little bit. That was a little strange, but, and it turned off my eye vision. Okay, wait, so we're locked in and we're not close. So,
This looks a little higher. This graph is useless. <laughs> Three. All right, well, let's just start at the top. I think I understand that now. So start at the top of the range, and then you can go down because you know that it's below it. Nice and slow, though, right? What the hell was that? It sounded like someone closed a shed outside or something. Oh, it stopped moving, I guess? I don't know. Alright, and then this is... Oh, maybe that was it, yeah. Wait, so we're supposed to be watching all those and keeping track of the of the elevations and the azimuth on the right? Those ones that are just scrolling past? That's the one that we're supposed to remember what the... Uh... Yeah, I think if the closer you get, the shorter the distance between them will be. Mm-hmm. And I think that uh, is what you're supposed to try to narrow down. Oh no, those launch reports are 4K. Those wouldn't be good. Uh, load it up. Oh, what the shit? Here we go. This seems bad. Is the whole system rebooting? What's happening here? I think we lost power? What the shit? What was that all about? I don't know, everything just restarted. Yeah, whole system rebooted. It's still moving though, it's still going toward its... I better check the server for any... Antenna server OS? Ser Antenna Server 5 timeout? Oh, that's number f that's number 5. So, so something must be wrong with 5, maybe. Antenna 5? Yeah. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, a bird. Probably a bird is. Are these the uh, diagonal ones or are these? The oh my uh, god! What was that? Thunder? Jeez. Lightning, yeah. That was extremely loud. Shit, which one's which? Oh, yeah, which direction were we? I have no idea. Looking from here, it's hard to tell. Okay, wait. The stairs are on the. We just have to orient ourselves by where the um, solar panels are. Okay, so the solar array is over there. So the yep. radio antenna is there. The stairs are here. So five is there. Okay. Right, Let's cool. see how this is doing. Almost there. We'll just see. Oh, it stopped. So it's not at the top of the range. struck by lightning and die out here. That was a really One, big two, lightning three, bolt. Three, four, five. Should I should have counted how many there were total. Hopefully they're labeled. They've gotta be. Whoa! Ah. Oh my <laughs> god, are you mad? That was awesome. Landed on the wheels. Nice maneuver. Did it all on purpose. Shit, this is scary. 
that big thunderstorm out in the desert like this, man, we're sitting ducks out here. Yeah, we are sitting ducks. All right, four. Shit. <laughs> that we're UFO, close, dude. Oh yeah, what's up with that? Who paid for SETI? Who pays for this? What do, you, what do you got? Train tracks? What is this? That's what they move on. They like rotate on those tracks or something. Oh shit. Reboot it. Yeah, turn it off and turn it on again. Uh oh, I think I saw another ship over towards that rock arch. Rock archway. We don't know the password. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, thank it. goodness. Okay, good. MS store Series X's are shipping 1223. Well, it'll be a nice little Christmas surprise, I guess. Antenna controls and detection disabled. The MS store. Oh, it's raining now. Ah! Whoa! That was freaky. Oh wait, because it's turned, the stairs aren't lined up? Look how the desert is just soaking up that water. Uh, it's a mirage. It looks like a lake off in the distance, but it's just wet sand. Yeah. What the shit? Alright. Well, I don't know. The U.S. has officially entered next gen. It's 12 o'clock on the East Coast. Good call, V8, Dave. Oh, yeah, that Series X came out today. Comes out now, right? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is the rover. Damn it, where's this blasting signal? Oh shit, what? Searching though, that's a good sign. No, we're calibrating that antenna because that's what I told it to do. It sounds like it still has the signal locked up. Oh man, what? I, I, uh, what? Antenna one calibration? Oh my god. Wants us to go to number one? No, I think I think when I asked it to calibrate that thing, it started calibrating all of them. Oh no. It might not be safe to go out in the rain. Yeah. Okay, it's restarting. Fudge. <laughs> Our power went out again. Uh, he gave us. Okay. All right. Is that good? That sounds good. I think we locked on to something. Antenna shutdown detected. Oh no. I thought we locked on. Oh, antenna shutdown detected.
Oh my god, the speed is so slow. Coordinate detection, 27. Antenna 12 is shut down. And antenna 5 is timed out still. Okay. 12 is shut down. Wait, can I start it from here? Uh... I could reboot all. I wonder how long that is. That the same amount of time it'll take with one? I guess we might as well. It doesn't hurt, if, huh? If you're at the thing, you can reboot this specific one. Okay, so we have to go to five and restart it, and twelve is shut down. So, twelve is. The other way, but past the comms tower, past the unused dish, and by the hangars. But they're labeled, so. It doesn't seem to let us do anything if one of them's down, so. What? It, what? It's winter now? <laughs> I think we're in hell, Don. <laughs> oh, there's like some weird texture on our golf cart, too. Look at that. What's happening? Do we have a windshield? Oh, we do have a windshield. I think we must have a windshield. It's not winter, it's just an optical illusion. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sand is cold. Somebody out here flipping switches? These are all rotated. Okay, 12's good. Now we have to go fix five. What is that blue thing? What? That's some mysterious shit right there. <laughs> Something weird inside these hangars? What's this green thing? Oh. What? Hello? <laughs> It looks like something definitely we have a shovel do we have a shovel in the shed uh, i don't I, I can check there's something under there that one's being worked on <laughs> they laid eggs <laughs> can't be open but there's a odd blue glow oh what here we go this is gonna answer something for us there's a lot more going on right away than i expected in this game alien oh, okay this is rapidly changing <laughs> so these are just like funny easter eggs right i don't know this just changed the tone of the game so dramatically 
There's a warehouse of alien eggs. They're all hatched. They're all open, yeah. Can you look in any of them? Does it have anything inside? You can't really you can't see. can't interact with any of them. Hmm. Well, this is off-putting. Something's got to be in these now. And there's that thing up in the sky. I mean, it's nice that the game is having a little fun. The aliens are coming from inside the camp. What is that? Did you see that headline about the, uh... What is that? Is that a fast radio burst? And they said, like, it's coming oh, from yeah. inside the galaxy. It's yeah. inside your own solar system. They found one in the Milky Way, yeah. Uh, from, uh... Alas, they're not alien signals there. They're just, like, pulsar binary stars or something. Bomber. There's a water tower out there. That was really weird. What? The warehouse of alien eggs. Oh, right, that. <laughs> Game over, man. I get a gun right now. Falconeer sounds pretty cool to me. I think I'm still going to get it. I'm pretty pumped. Antenna 8 needs calibration. Cooey! Calibrate it. Calibration. It's always something with these antennas. So there's 8 out here. 5, 6, 7. Nope. Is it on a different uh, line? Must be one of these. One. <laughs> it flips which direction you're facing when you get out. Fourteen, okay. I was wondering what spa space aroma would smell like. Nothing? Nothingness? Me? So there's Cal start, but is that on every single one of these? So I think that'll just kind of go.
<laughs> How many aliens has blood met? Where is SETI? Well, I think there's a few of them, aren't there? They're in, I think they're in Arizona and uh, in the southwest New Mexico. Uh, is is there only one? I thought there was a few of them. I don't know. SETI Institute. So wait, does drinking coffee pass the time? I think so, yeah. Seven. <laughs> Try to find this place. Seti Institute. Oh, it's in San Jose, California. I thought it was in Arizona. <laughs> this game is so bizarre. Can you open the fridge? You can turn on and off the lights. It takes forever to calibrate these damn things. Cooey. <laughs> I knew progress would be slow in this game. Uh, slow but rewarding, just like the real work. Yeah. this didn't work process is slower. How do you calibrate one? Oh, what? You're on. Where's this thing? Oh, to reach this panel, you have to set the antenna to azimuth zero. That's why the stairs are never set together. Uh. Ah, but you can do just one. Oh, 
It'll probably be faster. Let's see. Aha, look at that. It's like mist. Nice. <laughs> Woo, look at us move. All right, where the hell? Huh? Oh, Here we, we have go. to see the amount we have to change it by. Oh. It was there, but let's just make sure. Okay, the azimuth offset is wrong. So it's minus 10 right now, which way out of line with all the other ones. So let's put it to negative nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ever going to find those aliens? Uh, <coughs> we even downloaded a signal. I think we'll find them. That egg thing broke some of the... Uh, it broke the magic for you? It broke the immersion. <laughs> I don't know why they had to do that. <laughs> that f seems like it should have maybe been a late game sort of thing. Well, it's our own damn fault for g poking our head around. <laughs> yeah, so right now we're fixing the calibration of Antenna 8 because it's all bugaboo. Kind of just guessing as to what it wants. Okay, it's all green. Oh. Great. <laughs> 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 now we can finally try to find another signal. Yeah, and well now that we have the... I mean, this is really what we needed to do with get these... Th now that these are calibrated... we got to lock that so protesters don't come out. We've got power. Anti-alien protesters. Yeah. we got power. The power... Uh, the... the Solar cells are now clean. Solar cells are clean. All the antennas and should be recalibrated properly. Uh huh. We're gonna get snowed in. Edward Snowden. All right. Everything seems fine. We don't have a signal. Scanning. Oh, here we go. This is what you tune in for, chat. Ian and Don streams two hours of nothing. <laughs> I'm loving it, though. This game is actually super cozy. <laughs> I love this game. Here we go.
It's never been so hard on this section before. What the hell? There we go. <laughs> Do we have any credits for... No. <laughs> How do we earn this? <laughs> Finding signals, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but how can we find signals if we don't have the proper equipment? We have not yet found a signal. <laughs> Take a photo of some dirty water. Is that good? Does that mean I'm... I think so. Get in there, chat. What's everyone's favorite frequency? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh boy. It's real far away. Should we abandon it? Maybe that, uh, that yeah, it's real far. Huh? That'll take a long time. That'll take a Maybe. long time. Yeah, let's let's abandon it. That's the a veteran knows. That's what the guide said. Veterans begin to start to, you know, see which signals are worth their time of uh, tracking down. We're trying to find one in the three hundreds. Yeah. Something in our neighborhood. That was weird, you kind of saw that one, huh? This must be radio, like local so terrestrial radio. Yeah. Sometimes it just does that. I, don't know. I wonder what that helicopter that flew by. Yeah, was. that was crazy. This game is nuts. Like they put so much detail in. Okay. Oh man. 
go. Actually, wait. 85, 95 is if we just go up that way. It's not so bad. So let's see. Yes, five x five. I missed the show time. Uh, make sure you add that uh, Atari VCS or whatever the heck it's called onto there. That is officially competing with next gen. <gasps> That's not a joke. Wait, Anybody? did it just rocket up to the correct thing already? Apparently they've sold like over a... I, I read an article that said they sold over 11,000 of those Ataris so far. I want to know, anyone know anyone that ordered one of those? How did we yeah. suddenly just get to the right numbers? Yeah, that that's the one. I think, uh, no one's asking my opinion on this, but I think that if they, uh, if it's, if, I guess they sold off probably all those rights, so they don't, they, it wasn't an option, but if they could have included their 90s arcade titles, like the full library of games. Atari actually had some pretty good arcade games in the 90s, I think, late 90s. Uh, you know, if they could have had the, like, real uh, pure arcade ports of those included on there, that would have been, been great. Changing elevation. Road riot, four wheel drive, that was a good one. Was Revolution X an Atari game? Revolution X, Revolution X. Is that Atari? I have no idea. Is it not? Is elevation not working anymore? Oh no. It's not changing. Seems fine though. Yeah, I'm looking at it Wait, right now. Activate that... transmitters to activate interstellar communicator. Signal data not decoded. If we find a sequel, a sequence that, or a signal that we can talk to, okay, now it's going. I just had to threaten it with a good time. <laughs> All right, I think we might have made a breakthrough, or not. I'm gonna stop that BS. Omar's watching Ghostbusters out there, I think. <coughs> and I'm all about that. Oh, that was supposed to come out this year too, wasn't it? Was it, wait. Was that supposed to be the summer? When was that Ghostbusters supposed oh, to yeah, come out? Oh yeah, the new, new ass yeah, Ghostbusters. I, I, I had totally forgotten about that. Did that make it faster? Let's 
see. I gotta see what ch what's chat saying about this Atari. Doesn't look like it's doesn't look like it's uh, stirred the pot up much. Don't skip E shade. E shade. I think I played that. It sounds really familiar. Is that the one with the where you're where you're a painter or something? Wait, is, I wonder if Sakuna Rise and Ruin is good. Oh, I played East Shade, right? Yeah, that game was really fun. East, wait, East Shade? Yeah. Is that I, was that an that early open... access when I was playing it? Yeah, it's like that open I world. I played that. Yeah, I, pl I did an. I think I did an easy update or something on that. Oh, you did? I didn't see or that I one. I streamed it. I definitely played it. Maybe I just played it for myself. Yeah, That's, that game that was doesn't neat. seem likely. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cute. I don't remember why I stopped playing it actually, because I liked it. What is but it I even like to find a signal? Was it early? Oh, is it early? Well, that's what that egg thing. They shouldn't have done that. That just. Because now we know. Well, or we don't know. What do we know? I don't know. That egg thing is so confused. It's like, all right, does that mean they actually are go so far to actually have aliens in the game, or is that just a silly joke? And I think if it's, it's a joke. A it's completely out of context. Though. Yeah, but it's completely out of context with the rest of the game. It makes no. It's so off uh, base. It really rattled me. <laughs> you want me? To, you want me to turn it off, Don? <laughs> no, I want to find a signal. Eighty on open credit. Oh, that's pretty good. What what has eighty? Sakuna of rice and ruin. Falconeers holding strong at seventy four. Oh, it can't do azimuth and elevation at the same time. It looks like I see. Man, we're nowhere near this damn signal. Cooey. We're getting closer. All right, all of these are above our current azimuth, and this is far below our current estimate for the. Let's just try to get elevation, because it seems like these numbers are closer to get... Oh, no, what they're bouncing the all over the place. digitized rock band that Revolution X features in its club section? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, do this is simulating the, the quiet sadness of never finding anything. <laughs> All right, we are not near the mark here. Okay, they're releasing the new Echo One as a uh, uh, as a Lego set. Yeah, that. <laughs> Generation next, generation next, a generation. If the. Oh, can you Google what kind of video files this game wants to put into the video player? Sure. Doesn't F11 go full screen? Oh. My god. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh. Well, you know how it says. A it's, tutorial. It, it said press F11 in the top corner this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and I never did it because I thought it would make it go full screen and ruin All right. the setup. Let's see if this will help. Let's see. Use the antenna control panel to start rotating the antennas. Azimuth will rotate horizontally, elevation vertically. While the antennas are rotating, the energy c consumption will increase. Antennas can be upgraded to rotate faster. Okay. Okay, 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 good. Info monitor, system efficiency. Yeah, we know all we this. We know all this, yeah. Yeah, we it's know that. It's all just obvious. We know all this shit. This is not giving us any help. Piss off, you tutorial. Tutorial. The people in East Shade are all animal people, right? Is that what it was? If I recall, that does that does sound correct. I forgot about I that. I used an MP4. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it won't play? That's weird. <laughs> Skill. Ah! The Kyle Raid. Here we go. Hello. The VHS tape will pop out. Oh, the VHS tape pops out? It says you can put, you can, it'll should be able to Raided. Hey, everybody. Don and I are looking for alien signals, and it's not going great. We're on the brink. We're on the brink of a major discovery. A massive discovery. We've, We've been tracking through the galaxy. We've recalibrated the antennas. Antennas? Antennae. We've cleaned the solar panels. Is it's raining? Wait, is that another helicopter coming? Don't tell them about the eggs. Oh, this time we got to go out there and see what the heck it is. If it is, we heard. Sounds we like heard, one, right? There's a helicopter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got to see who this is. Who is flying here? Help! Whoa! Help us! What the heck is this? Okay. They're dropping food off or something. Go see what it is. Is that what it is? It's a supply drop for us to live? Well, that was nice. I don't want to miss our signal, though, while we're out here dicking around. <laughs> Gotta see what provisions they gave it's us. It's just an RP. It's just RP. Oh, my gosh. That's kind of cool, Look actually. That. That's really cool. This game is crazy. The game is incredible. And you have to have a lot of patience. But it's really cozy. Oh, we will uh, not. Uh, this all right. is only beginning. This oh, track beginning. coordinates. Here we go. What does that button do? Did we get it? Are we getting it? We're downloading it, I think. Are we? Look over to the left. Left. No. Left. Oh, dang it. But track coordinates has never turned on before. Is it tracking automatic? Is the automatic available? I don't think it's doing anything. It's not moving. Frequency lock tracking available? No, tracking is not available. So what the heck? Auto scan? No. But wonder why the tracking is not available. Track coordinates turned on. Seems like it should be available. And it's changing these numbers. It's never done that before. Status active. It gets stressful because the the signal goes away after a while. But yeah. we're like not near this at all. I wish we had it in easy mode because then this would this would turn green and tell you if you're on the right track while it's going. Our system efficiency is tanking. We're at 32% efficiency. But we need to clean those solar panels. They're at 80. Them. The charge efficiency oh. is good. The system efficiency. Oh, that's because I'm I'm overpowering the cal calibration and the and the antennas. Probably. All right. So we're locked in on that this azimuth that it randomly put in itself. Now it's going to the elevation of 52. If this turns green, we're on the right track. Once this stops, once this turns green, it means it stopped moving. Oh, our elevation is actually good. It's close. Okay, so. Here we go. 
What do we think? Up or down for the azimuth? It's, the average is right around where we are, but it's not Probably giving us anything. I, I think we've done up. Oh, we have? I'm gonna go down. Just a little bit. Maybe just a little. I'll go down by five. going this only go this only changes when it stops so if we go in small increments I don't know how close we have to be for it to turn green though this looks like a game for an estranged uncle <laughs> that seems accurate AVI has the best chance. I don't think I have any AVIs laying around on my computer. All right, so 118 didn't do it. Try 113 and see. Chad, anybody know how specific the signal strength has to be? <laughs> it does seem like a VR game. I think it has to be very specific. Very, very specific. I think it needs to be precise. Yeah. But the min and max are not going down. What is the point of this graph? It doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, I know this, but this 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 oh. thing doesn't. It just dicks around doing nothing, and it's like whatever, man. All right. It looks like that storm completely passed us. That's good. Dodged a bullet there. Shit. Ah. Uh, that was the one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the business we're this in. This is the business. This is the biz. This is the biz. Alright, if this one's close, we'll go for it. Cross your fingers. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Guess what we want? There it is. The blob. A lightning storm There's going a, on. Well, that was lightning? Okay, good. This sounds interesting. This sounds unique. This is what they've all sounded like, and you've said that every time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this could be Frog Fractions 3. <laughs> this sounds more unique than the others, I think. There's something different about that, that squelch. There we go. Let's see, let's see what we got. This is the most exciting part. This is awesome. I'm actually pretty pumped about this right now. Oops. Oh. What's happening? Alright, right. we locked in. 260. God. <laughs> That's pretty far away. Well, we gotta work for it a little bit. It'll be worth it. We gotta take a chance on this one, I think. Uh, to me, that sounded like a very unique signature. <laughs> All right, Don. <laughs> for you. All right, we're already at the max for evolutions or elevation. I mean. All 
Ugh. We need to make these things move faster, but we don't have any. <laughs> Wait, are there cheat codes? Hey, that's uh, not fair. Are there cheat codes for, 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 for credits? No. You gotta check it. Wait, I can access this from here? Oh, You gotta shit. earn it. Oh, damn you, Antenna 17. Oh, was the guy re recalibrated? Yep. We're just gonna ignore it. Let's go calibrate that baby. <laughs> we can't. We have to set azimuth to zero. We'd have to like go all the way back. Can you shut it down? No, I think we just leave it. What's our? It's not throwing off our. Uh... Our uh, azimuth speed is point zero zero three five. That seems not fast. <laughs> put all power to coordinates. I think we have all power to coordinates right now. I put now, it all we? on, well, it's on coordinates and antenna. Yeah. Oh, oh well, Ben is saying, uh, Ben Fitter is saying all power to coordinates. Okay. To get the average coordinates, then switch all power to antenna. Well, I oh, think wait. we have So wait, all power to antenna makes it move faster? I guess yeah, so. our azimuth speed just went down, so let's let's put a lot of power to antennas. Yes, yeah, okay, that made our, our speed faster. Okay. Cool. And our detection is down. So now once we start dialing it in, then we can Thanks, Ben. Yeah, that's good. This is exciting. I have a good feeling about this one. This time we're just gonna we're just gonna dedicate to this. We're not gonna get distracted by helicopters or fixing antennas that are broken or cleaning off the damn solar panels or finding eggs in a garage. <laughs> There's a lot to do out there. There's a lot to do. Little kitten bit, gifted sub, Boldra, 34 months, thank you. Percival, 54 months, thank you. Rammers, 26 months. That's as far back as my list goes right now. Is it going still? Yes. Okay. Almost 100 away. <laughs> so right now we could do something. You get all the information back during entry, descent, landing. Maybe we should and go uh, recalibrate. Well, but I can't get up there without an, it at azimuth zero. Oh, it'll mess it up. Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to set just one of them to zero, but I don't know. This is a pretty calming game. Yeah. We have a very short torso, I think. Uh-oh. We can't wash our hands. Oh, no. Better wash our whole bodies. There we go. Press. Oh, there we go. Took a bunch of dips. See if there's something in the fridge. Here, wait, if we drink coffee, will it make time go by? I think so. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Drink it all. 1452. There we go. It made, the, it made it jump forward, what, four minutes? A few minutes, yeah. Oh no, time just goes that fast. Oh. <laughs> but we can go refill our coffee, maybe that's what does it. In the kitchen.
What a game. But they're gonna be at a, at a more sedate pace. The lifetime of this mission, unlike prior ones, where it's here an opportunity, for example, were designed for 90 day missions, they have gone on well beyond that. The primary mission is only three months. This rover has a primary mission of two years. The expectation is that the science results, the engineering results, that did not speed up. I mean, the other thing did, but doing what I just did didn't. It may take a couple of days before that first real high resolution image comes back, before the, the, the video of, of the landing process actually comes back. Medium got postponed? And just keep Out of 2020? It may take a couple of weeks before the real high resolution panoramas come back. It may be a few Checking our Fantasy Critic League right now, Don. There were so some again, other games announced that I should have picked up. For the rest of the day, um, what you're going to be seeing this weekend and what <sighs> you're going to see out through the Boo. rest of the mission as it progresses. Have a great hey, wait, time. Can I drop? Please feel free to get Who up. has Cyberpunk? Ask questions I do. As much information as Man. Can. Thank you. Oh, no. What? What happened to the signal? Oh, we lost it again. <laughs> we picked one that was too far away. All right. We'll try oh, one I more. I have a feeling about that one. Dang it. That was a really unique signal. No, I don't have uh, so, Cyberpunk. I have it on my your, team. Uh, your winning essay, so everyone could hear how beautiful that was. And then I would not be the one to get it early to if, if we were to get it early. Oh, yeah. No, I was asking if we had it on All right, that was quick. Oh, my God, that was real quick. All right, 275 minimum. Uh, it's about just as far, if not farther. A little farther, but we were already making our way to it. So yeah, Ben Fitter's saying if we transfer all power to coordinates, we'll get a more precise reading initially, I guess. Okay, but we, we need to keep it on antennas right now to get them there, right? Like get them close first? The search. Yeah, the last one was too f so far away that we didn't even get there in time. <laughs> the the things didn't even get there in time. You know what? Let's let's go for a closer one. What's the closest one we found? Uh, We're trying to find one that's in the like 160s. Good night, Louvine. But more special than just having a oh, thank you. Have mountains in them. Hey, Lou. So Ben Fitter's saying it says all on coordinates, then write and down the, the average, rock. then yeah. all power to antenna <laughs> yeah. to start moving. Uh, the layered rock is, um, oh, okay, interesting. So right now, all power to coordinates.
God dang it, they're all in the 200, but that is way narrower. That is true. Yeah. All right, but we're going to ditch that one and try to find one closer to our set, our current setting. Is that this giant stack of layers which changes from clay materials at the bottom to sulfate materials halfway up to dust at the top has witnessed They're all the last one. Huh? I like Narwhals that they st stepped away for a second. Was the last one the last one and then Oh, I've, I've said we've, we've been saying that each one is the last one and then we keep screwing it up. Or they're just too far away. They're all far away. We got this one, yeah. Gas giant. Yeah, that's what I'm curious. Is there any chance they're going to postpone Cyberpunk again? Oh, that would be wild. Oh, man. All right, so it's in the 200s again. That's where they, like, uh, that's the range. Yeah, they're all... Maybe, maybe our equipment can't pick it up closer right now because we don't have it upgraded. I don't know. Maybe we can't pick up a signal closer than that. This has a unique signature to it. <laughs> yeah, this one looks like a planet that people could live on. Or aliens, you know? Yeah, I like the sound of this for sure. Let's cross our fingers, chat. What are we at? For God's sakes. All right, we're just gonna... It's not gonna be closer, yeah, let's do it. Track it down. Triangulate. Oh boy. Triangulating. Three of them are messed up now. Ah, this is what I was afraid of. 10, 17, and 19. We're starting to go down like dominoes out there. Cascade failure. How is this? Closing in on it. It's pretty tiny on a, on a computer screen, Skater Team. <laughs> on mobile, yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. Wait, why did our azimuth speed go down again? Oh, yeah, we could host a field trip. That's a great idea. Okay, yeah, so this range got way wider when we... I get it. Transfer the power. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah, I feel like we figured out so much. That, uh... As soon as we get a signal close enough... 
there's, there's, there's a picture of a calibration target we can look at. This guy sounds like John C. Riley. This is this is one part of the rover that we will use to calibrate <laughs> yeah. the Molly. That's the thing with the colors and, and all of that. Huh. The thing below that is to calibrate. And the then alpha switch alpha. power to servers once it starts downloading. Okay, yeah, that's what we haven't gotten. We haven't been able to. Start oh downloading. whoa! Yeah. Oh my gosh. How long do I rest for? Oh my god! We're gonna, gonna sleep through the signal! We're gonna sleep through the signal! <laughs> ah, ah. Wake up! Wake up! See if the signal's still there. The oh! Yes! Uh, we might be really close they're now. They're not even. It didn't even. Uh, add, uh, get, come on. What? Uh, okay, wait. We're at 190 and it's 540. Let's see how much uh, time sleeping on? takes. We barely. <laughs> it was at like 2, I think. You don't need to rest right now? You sack! <laughs> uh. Oh, maybe we can go walk around the property a little. Yeah, I guess. Y'all can see how tall that is, but I would say it's a very tiny. Um, and then finally, yeah, it's got I like a hundred to, to go. Friend along <laughs> curiosity, and so I brought on the calendar. Drip, drip, bead of space. Look at this. Is that ship still up in the sky right now? Uh, yep, we there found, it is. We, we well, found it a disappeared. ship. disappeared. I wonder if we can see the face better at night. What is that? What? Up in the sky. There's like a giant orb. I think that's oh, the that moon. The, that's the moon? Let's look Why at it black? with a telescope. Hey Christ, we're 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 right there with you. All right, well, where are you, moon? Not, oh, it is the moon. What the stars are in front the of the moon. What is up with the moon? Oh, what is, is it actually that? modeled? Is that a three D object? What's that little tiny pixel thing? The stars are in front of it. Yeah, that's unusual. That's unhinged. <laughs> it's not the moon. It's a distant planet. The tree of wisdom. Oh, two trees of wisdom. So wise. <clears throat> oh, that's true. Yeah, it's Starlink. Those aren't stars, that's Starlink. I don't think there are such a thing as a zoom telescope like that, but maybe there are. One of our mic runners will come over to you. We lost Davis. the signal. Okay, Langley, go ahead. Hi. This is ah, we need better gear. Maybe we should go dig through those crates that helicopter's been dropping off. It wouldn't let me uh, interact with them. crater itself. So this is a uh. crater, and there was possibly impact on the crater. We need signals to get points to upgrade gear, but we need gear to find signals to get points. Certainly, we're not meant to be this bad at it, right? We've been playing for two hours and 23 minutes. And we've found oh, I don't, no I, don't, I don't think we're bad at all. I didn't expect to find a signal tonight. I mean, this is a, <laughs> this is a slow burn type of thing. I imagine we'll be playing this for several months before we find a signal. Uh, I mean... That we at least download. Were you expecting to go faster than that? No, no. Now that you say that, I guess not. I mean, we're going to be... I was pretty much planning on this being our 2021 uh, <laughs> dream. We have no... Yeah, most scientists go, in real life, go three or four years before they talk to aliens. <laughs> it's true. 
That's we have zero true. system efficiency right now. I gotta clean those solar cells. Our speed is nothing. Hang the on. solar cells are probably gummed up. I think it's because we didn't... We haven't let the batteries charge in days. <laughs> I think those cells are gummed up. Someone gummed up those photovoltaic Oh my god, the radio's out here too. That's cute. Yeah, our efficiency is creeping back up now that we're not doing anything. Here we go. Point three. <laughs> I feel like we're cornering. We haven't quite got the signal yet, but we've cornered it a couple. That last time, it felt like we had the signal cornered, and it just sort of slipped out of our grasp. Antenna server two timeout. Well blown concept at this point. Uh, but we do have a larger format than pan cam. It's twelve hundred by sixteen hundred instead of ten twenty four by ten twenty four and we do the color. The mass cam also does have the filters to give you the narrow band that the scientists want to give some more details about the spectrum of the rocks and the distances and stuff. Um, and the uh, Molly, by the way, also when you get up that close. So those three are still bugaboo. When you're up that close. At the same distance as MI, we get MI resolution. So, but the fact that we can focus it, the mass cam also has focus. That makes it a lot more versatile. There's way too many options to, <laughs> to choose from, but it's going to be amazing. When, when Spirit, they had to look under Spirit with the MI because the wheel was changing too slow. That System efficiency is one. Molly, we just have to let it charge. What is this game? <laughs> what is this? We need to drink some more coffee, probably. Don't need to rest. How do they know? <laughs> Just slug down some coffee. Ah, uh, that's nice. Black. Oh, you saw that steam come out of our mouth? Yeah. Must be cold in here. See that? Yeah. It's not, you know, movie quality video, but it's it's going to be great to see things move on the surface, cloud, sand on the ground, uh, and of course, oh, that mild descent to the surface as a, I think about... Let it charge. Minutes. Check the dishes for maintenance. There you go. We could re recalibrate those three dishes that are out. We have to set the azimuth to zero to do that. Which is, and we're like, uh, as far from zero as you could get almost right now. <laughs> Okay, and that was quick. This is going to be close, and it sounded unique to me. It's in the 200s again. Back in the 200s. This one sounded interesting, though. <laughs> So our recharge rate is dancing above positive and negative. Oh man! Oh no! Our asthma speed is garbage right now. We have no power. This is, yeah, we this can't is do not, this. This is not the time to not have power. Oh, that 
nice signal too. It's a shame. But like, how do we set the? We can't set the azimuth to zero because we don't have any power. It's the damn choppers back. Let's go see what they're dropping off. Maybe they got some new gear for us or something. I mean, there's got to be something this guy's dropping off other than food. It won't let us sleep. That was my hope. Grab on. Oh. Take us with you. What is he dropping in there? Does SETI actually have this kind of budget? Like people, <coughs> excuse me, dropping Live off out in the desert and and with a helicopter? It probably cuts and costs too much money to drop off a box of food let's open these pop these babies open what do we got in here we've got to have some upgrade Nothing. i can't interact Nothing. with them it's why do they keep stacking up and you can't jump either they're teasing us it feels like there's something crazy back there can the rover move them Oh, yeah, didn't you say we have another uh, vehicle, too? We have this thing that you can... It's like a model rover that you can, like, move around with the computer. But I don't see a point to that. But Oh, maybe we can use... I think it has a boring drill on the front of it. We can maybe bore one of those crates open and see what's inside. It has a drill on it? I think so, depending which rover that is supposed to be a model of. Yeah, see, that's the that's it right there. It 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 drills and it and it sucks in the samples huh. of whatever it's drilling. We could probably we could probably drill a hole in one of those crates and suck up the Tender samples and it the 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 fibers to be able to determine what's inside of the crate. This thing is slow as molasses, too. Chief Engineer here at JPL. Next to him is Adam Seltzer, the EDL phase lead, also from JPL. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea when Narwhal says we could use it to drill in that green hole. Oh, my God, that's genius. And that's actually what that thing is meant for, I think, is drilling in, the, you know, objects like that. Oh my god, that will take forever, though. Where was that green hole? It's, like, back over there. This is just the camera. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's be... What does this thing? What does that do? Arm extend? No. I think you'll need to extend that arm when you drill. Yeah, I don't know why they gave us this road over here, but this is kind of cool. It definitely makes no sense. Wait, we don't want to go... We want to go... Forward nine. And once it's on the ground, this rig very robust right to nine. somehow magically transform itself through a lot of a lot of work on our part to being a a, a, a real rover where it's doing uh, do her Ramashwin and pan on this uh, a roving a roving geologist, geochemist, a water diviner, a a, 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 a remote a remote imaging specialist. This game is insane. Uh, and <laughs> 
going forward. Here we go. It's traveled eight. Are we going to hit this tree? Maybe we'll get a bu Oh. <coughs> now we're turning right. What happened? Yo, thread the needle. Perfect. Perfect, Rover. Perfect. No, stop turning. Stop. Shoot the stop gap. now. Stop. Shoot the gap. Punch it. Alright, so we'll go left. Like four. Full blast, forward. Punch it. Yeah. Hit it. There we go. We'll just make sure it's going to go past this fence, and then we can look at and see if we're actually heading toward the, the thing. Look at him go. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so green thing is where? Where was that hole? There, right there, I think. Right? Where is it? Right there. Hang on. This is going to take an hour just to, <laughs> get, just to get there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. System that you see in the video game. It has a couple of it's got lots of stuff going on, but a couple of real particularly novel elements to it and I'll just spend Oh, nice. For you with those elements. The first is that guided entry. I don't think it makes it go faster. We'll be steering our way through Yeah, those wheels are I forget what that's called, you know, you can't can't push them. Somebody want to Google if this works? <laughs> Drilling the green thing? <laughs> yeah, this is it. So now we can use that as a landmark. Oh, nice. <laughs> Where are the aliens? But, like, do we really just have to wait for the... Because we, like, botched it by using too much power. So we seriously there. just have to wait for the power to come back? No. Wait, why is the game all thin and weird looking now? It's probably been like that forever. Alright, we could have a shot at it now. The actual name for the green thing? Uh, it was like a mound with green holes? What was that thing? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like some kind of submerged, buried UFO or something. Yeah, it looked like a meteorite. Okay, so that was 66. I 
think that little tiny dot might be the several questions about that. Um, but I'll just say that it really was the result of careful, long, reasoned thought with rooms full of very, very bright, experienced people. Um, and although it looks crazy, it was really the least crazy of our options for, for getting a room of about the size that we could certainly find. Oh my gosh, you, yes, you used the rover. What? Have you not been watching? <laughs> I've been using the rover. I mean, I think we can use the rover on the, uh, the hole, the green hole. Yeah, we're, that's what we're trying to do, is get it to the green hole. Oh yeah, drink it. we could drink some coffee, maybe. I'm not convinced that go. actually it does anything. We're never going to find a signal. Well, let's follow the green hole. At least we know now that that'll pay off. <laughs> we and don't we will, know that. We most, we most certainly will find a signal. I have faith we will find a signal. Not tonight, necessarily. Well, we're 41 minutes over, <laughs> overdue anyways. To be continued. To there, be continued. That would be, that would be a perfect to be continued screen right there. The angles. <laughs> to be, yeah. As it forages forward into the future at breakneck speed. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Can't stop the signal, Mal. <laughs> um, well, that'll do it. <laughs> wait, you're not even going to wait till the rover gets to the green That's hole? It's going to be 40 minutes, Don. <laughs> uh, tomorrow right. night, we're, we're streaming the Xbox. Uh, so join us for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah, I have to get up early tomorrow anyway. Oh my gosh, yeah, me too. All right. All it right. was fun though. I uh, maybe we will play this again, right? Some maybe. We'll see. I like it. All I right, can't imagine cool. how fun it is to watch, but <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun to play. Can you imagine the payoff when we start being able to download a signal and it starts breaking it into binary? Yeah, it'd be pretty <laughs> nuts. <laughs> right, I'm tempted to just YouTube it. Uh, uh, that was funny. All right. Okay, bye.